Hello there and welcome. My name is Lisa and we are just going to jump right on in here today and get to shopping at Walmart for Christmas 2023. They have really done good this year with their Christmas decor, so I'm going to try to condense it down into the most popular and must-have items so that it is not as overwhelming for you when you're shopping. I'm starting here with the Texas House wooden bells. Natural wood elements are huge this season, and it goes with these bells and these candles. These battery-operated light-up candles are so pretty. They have two different styles and are reasonably priced. So if you like this more sleek wood look or if you like the more natural birch wood look to the candles, they have both options there. This is a great way to make your home cozy and inviting, not just for Christmas, but through all of the winter months. There were so many of these little wooden tree options. You can mix and match them, group them together. These would be so pretty up on a mantle or on a console table. So pretty. All kinds of price points. You can paint these or stain these too because they are natural wood here. And mix them with these ceramic elements too so that that adds visual interest to your decor. I thought this big wooden tree was so pretty. This one you wouldn't be able to stain unless you sanded it because it has varnish on it. So many options and another good way to bring those natural elements into your winter and Christmas decor. And don't overlook these jumbo ornaments. It is so simple to just unscrew that hook at the top of the ornament and then you can use it on a shelf or a table as well grouped with those other wooden Christmas trees. I thought these white ceramic Christmas trees were so pretty. They came in two sizes, very classy, and would give you a really nice aesthetic and look good among any other color of decor that you're using. Walmart has an endless array of $1.98 ornaments. This white ceramic tree and this wooden ceramic tree would go with any of those others I have shown you. One of the easiest ways to make your home festive, cozy, and inviting for not just Christmas but winter is to add greenery. And it has come a long way. Walmart had a lot of the real feel greenery in wreaths and garlands. So look for pieces that have a more realistic look and touch to them. And don't let like the bow on that wreath detour you. That is easy enough to change out to match your style and aesthetic. These are so soft, so lifelike. I am allergic to all kinds of pine and cedar, everything in the outdoors basically. So for me, bringing in the artificial greenery is the way to go. They had these beautiful garlands. These were flocked and they had just a soft, snowy look to them. But then they also had these very realistic, just green garlands as well. I know that wreaths and garlands can be a huge investment. They are pricey. But if you pick those real feel, natural, great quality items, they will last you for a long, long time. So you don't have to keep repurchasing them. They don't fall apart and shed around your house either. And that is a big bonus in my book. <laughs> This wreath matches that snow flocked garland and when you can match up your greenery it gives you a high end designer look around your home. So keep that in mind when choosing especially new pieces so that you can get them all coordinated together. This six foot garland was a good price at $20 and again has that real feel touch to it. So if you want to wrap your banister or doorway this is a great option. You could build onto it and add anything you wanted. And this cypress wreath was really nice too. It had pine cones on it, but again had that more realistic look and a real feel touch. I will have as many items as I can linked down below in the description for your convenience. Not sponsored, just linked for your convenience. 
Adding texture and metal details to your Christmas decor can really elevate it and make it look high end. I have seen these natural woven tree collars everywhere on designer web pages, but this one is a good price here at Walmart. I bought a similar gold tree collar to this two seasons ago. I spent way more than $17. So this is a great option to just dress up your tree. To add both texture and metal detail, this My Texas House wreath is beautiful and I love the gold metallic of it, but also the texture of the leaf. I think when you unbox it, if you fluff it out, it would be absolutely fabulous hanging somewhere in your home or sitting on a shelf. These ceramic trees again marry that texture with the metallic look. I love that it's slightly antique and distressed and these my texas house lanterns are beautiful they would look good on a hearth on a porch the possibilities are endless these metal reindeer are a really close dupe for a pottery barn version very nice very pretty i actually scored two of them they're kind of hard to find so just be on the hunt and look out i thought this black and gold metal lantern box was really pretty you could do so much with this with your decor this is one of those items that you could use in your home all year round not just Christmas y'all help me decide on this elk I love him and I've almost bought him several times but I've always put him back let me know what you think I think he's beautiful but he's a little pricey so do you think I should get him or not Christmas always evokes thoughts of bells and they are more popular than ever. These classic vintage style bells are everywhere. You can see here they have antique red, black, white. These jumbo ornaments here, they were actually bells. You could make these over and uh, have them any style you wanted. I liked these gold shiny bells as well. I think if you switched out that burlap, on them for a nice ribbon it would be so beautiful paper decor and vintage paper designs like these i'm seeing them on high-end websites i think this is a great way to decorate your home for christmas you could even get your kids involved and make paper snowflakes and stars and angels to decorate your home with these $1.98 ornaments are wood, but they are very reminiscent of that paper element. Add these to your tree, your garland, around your home, and it would bring in that vintage design. Don't forget the small details when dressing your home for Christmas. Walmart has a great selection of just smaller miniature items, including all of the ornaments for the miniature trees. I like to also use these to decorate my packages because pretty packages under the Christmas tree just make the tree look even better than it already does. And to think beyond the Christmas season, I see a lot of things like this garland. I actually got a set of this last year after Christmas for 90% off. I use it in my everyday decor throughout the year. I'm so excited to now share with you what I bought from Walmart in their Christmas decor section and ideas on how to style it in your home. I could not show this in store because they only had one of these trees. It is a dupe for a very high end crate and barrel tree and they're hard to find. I have looked on the app daily and they finally had one at a store not far from me. So I added it to cart and I checked it out for curbside pickup. It is so pretty. It is that real feel cypress tree and the LED lights on it are very subtle and very nice. I love it. It was worth the $59. That's a little steep for me, but I was glad that I went ahead and snagged it when I could. These black metal reindeer are another item that go in and out of stock. So if you are on the hunt for this pottery barn dupe, just keep checking back at Walmart or on the app. They have wonderful texture to them. I love that they are substantial in weight. Just aesthetic of them is a nice clean line. I like to incorporate black in my everyday decor as well as at Christmas. 
This black metal deer has a very geometrical design to it. I like the clean cut lines of it as well. It's going to fit in with my Christmas decor, but beyond that, it'll go well with my winter decor. So I'll be able to get a lot of use out of this piece. And you're gonna see a lot of black. Like I said, I like to use accents of black. I found these metal candlesticks at Walmart for a really good price. So I snagged them because I can use them throughout my home all year long. They will be a good basic to have in my decor closet. So this is a great time to pick up those items that you can use throughout your home all year long. This is not a traditional Christmas decor item, and Christmas decor does not have to come just from the Christmas section. I found this little battery-powered lamp in the regular home decor section at Walmart. It is going to be the perfect color to accent the taupe and brown flocked balls that I picked up in my Hobby Lobby haul. I wanted to get this, add it in with my Christmas decor, but again, use it throughout my home the rest of the year. Year. I think it is so pretty. I love that it's battery powered so I can put it anywhere. It doesn't require a plug to be accessible. Breaking away from the black, heading into more neutral colors here. This My Texas House picture, it is gold embossed on the front of the glass. It's kind of like a shadow box depth so that it has a little bit of interest there to it. It's going to be really pretty and add that pop of metallic gold to my holiday decor. You got a sneak peek at this next item, those gold bells. I am going to replace this burlap rope with something a little more classy and elevated like ribbon, but it looks so nice in the garland and really brings in that pop of color and the metallic element that I shared with you earlier. The garland that I'm using here is actually from Kirkland's. It's the Norfolk Pine Real Fill Garland. But amongst it, you're seeing my Walmart ribbon. I got this for $9 for a 30-foot spool, and it is beautiful. It's metallic on one side and velvet on the other. And don't forget your lights. I like the warm white lights, and I add them to absolutely everything around my home at Christmas. This $12.98 swag is real feel. It is full and lush and it does not shed. That is what I'm loving most about the real feel items. I am going to pair it with these antique cowbells. These are the ones that came in the multiple colors. It would be harder to replace the burlap on this, but I don't mind it so much. I'm going to add in some creative touches of other ribbons and greenery and make it unique and special just for my home. I encourage you to be creative like that. Create something special and unique for your home and your family. And if you're looking for something more traditional and classic over those vintage cowbells, Walmart had these jingle bells. I got them in red, but they also had them in white and they really do jingle and are very pretty. These would be good for outside in uh, your garland over your doorway where you need larger scale items that are going to be visible from the street. These glass churches come in three different sizes. They are priced separate and I had to hunt between two different stores to get all three of them. You can see I just have these battery powered votives in them and they look beautiful all lit up. I am going to replace my white farmhouse style houses this year I think with these. This is a little more contemporary and a little more my style. Plus I just love the little cross and that there are churches. I can use these in my spring and Easter decorating as well. And like I mentioned when we were shopping, don't forget those small details. 
I could not pass up on these little black deer. They are made out of plastic resin and are $3.98. The black flocked nutcrackers are super cute. They were $2.98. I collect nutcrackers. We have a substantial collection here at my house. I thought this gold Christmas ornament was very pretty and could be set out and incorporated amongst my decor, as can the little elk antlers. And I love a cloche jar decorated, so this ornament was perfect for me to either add on my tree or on a little shelf. And the same with this Santa. He can be either an ornament or just add him, tuck him in next to a tiny tree in a vignette, and it will be the perfect little addition. We can't forget about that wood element. I'm adding in these new additions to some that I already have in storage from previous years. The gift toppers are little tiny wooden ornaments that you can set out. I got one of those ceramic white trees, but just an assortment here of items that I can use in and around my home. Like I said, with wooden and ceramic Christmas trees that I have already in my collection. I did go ahead and pick up some of the mini tree ornaments to use on my packages like I mentioned when we were shopping. I want to be sure and get these before they sell out. A lot of this stuff is gone after the Black Friday rush and Thanksgiving crowd. So if you see something you like, grab it while it's available. I am so glad that you joined me today. I hope that I took a lot of the guesswork, stress, and anxiety out of the Christmas aisles at Walmart. If you missed one of my previous videos where I shopped at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, be sure and go check those out. I am doing the same thing there, showing you what you really should get and add to your Christmas collection this year. If you haven't already, I appreciate when you hit that thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe and join the Uniquely Lisa family. All of this shopping and Christmas decor has got to be put out and styled in my home. I am getting to work on that and will be bringing you all of my Christmas decorating soon. I'm going to take you room by room and area by area, giving you all of the design, inspiration, and ideas that you need to have a beautifully decorated home for Christmas. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you again real soon.